what's up? My Elder Door Creatures crew, I'm totally insane and I collected so you don't have to. We've got some great new additions to the Elder Door family today. This is, of course, the rock monster from the Stone Tribe. But who is this? That's the brand new Lava Smasher. And who's this? That's the brand new Ice Giant at home on a block of ice. All right, check it out. These, they probably hit the shelves uh, last Christmas time. I just got them. They're $25 a piece on Amazon right now, as well as Barnes & Noble, Schleich.com, all the usual places. $25 a piece. Let's check them out. You got the jaw drop action. It's not quite as distinct as the Rock Monster. Look at this. It doesn't drop quite as far. But it's still there. You can tell. You can tell. They all three fit in. Very nice family. Okay. But then uh, full ball joints in the shoulders and then waist. Just like the rock monster. This, what do you call that thing? Anchor. Okay, the anchor from a long lost ship there in the Arctic can spin around and be positioned. And then he has a removable sword stuck in his back. Single color piece of plastic <laughs> stuck in his icy back and it fits the same either way he can't hold it though he can't hold it I'm curious to see if he can hold I think he can hold the stone a cool piece of uh, jade or travertine or something peridot it's probably peridot I think he's going to be able to hold it it's in it, when you buy these it comes attached with a rubber band but I don't think the lava guy is going to be able to hold it I don't think he is either, no. Man, if you heat blasted it, I think you could get it into his hand. Because his hand, I noticed, is very similar to his hand. But his hand looks a lot different. I don't know, maybe you can hold it. I don't know. I'm just kind of disappointed that since they're so similar, they didn't come with... He could come with some ice crystals. He could come with a big ball of magma. He comes with nothing. This guy at least has the movable anchor and the detachable sword. This guy comes with nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But he looks cool. And he's got the same jaw drop action. Huh? Semi-translucent plastic on the hands and kind of his flame mane in his lower limb, lower feet area. And then very bright orange, opaque plastic here. Two-collar paint, the black and the yellow. It looks great. And same articulation. Full ball joint shoulders and waist, and of course that jaw. Quite the trio, quite the triad. His ball joints are bright white, so if in certain positions, they're really going to stand out. But overall, these guys look amazing. And of course, it is a cold February day. An actual block of ice and an actual stone. And this works good for fire, lava, magma. Okay. If you get them all in one shot like that, <laughs> that looks good. Bust my thumb nut though. Woo! How about this? $25 each. It looks like Amazon has upped the price on the Stone Monster. But I noticed BarnesandNoble.com and a few other sites, you can still get him for $25 as of the time of the recording of this video. Okay? Man, they look good. Let's go and put them all on the same stone. Those are going to look so good on your shelf. Now, here's the thing though. I want a sea golem like this. Oh my gosh, some dude just full of barnacles and like discarded crustaceans and fish bones. Whew. Can you imagine? Some kind of Davy Jones locker looking amalgamated sea creature golem monster. Same, same size, same scale, same points of articulation, sea boy, jaw drop action. And then, of course, you know I'm gonna say it, a plant dude. Now we could go, we could go tree monster route, full on tree ant. I'm talking like Groot or tree beard. But I'm thinking, you know what might be more interesting, more unique and creative is kind of like a pile of moss and leaves, like a big rotting heap of a plant monster. Wouldn't that look insane? Maybe he's got some vines and some small plants growing into him, but he's mostly like peat moss and just detritus on the forest floor that's come together to just take down these other factions. I don't know. Maybe you have a few little snails on them. Maybe, of course, that viney action that they put on the other guys in the plant tribe. But, yeah, that's that's what I hope more than anything 
is that they do a plant and a sea dude. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Love this guy. All right, let's get, let's get a little close up of each. And then we out. Let's uh, go and check the copyright. Schleich, designed in Germany. Copyright 2020. We'll go and look at this guy. Schleich, copyright 2017. Very cool. Schleich, copyright 2020. Okay, very awesome. Very nice. Man, it's like do up the do up the other factions. The sea tribes are getting no love lately. But yeah, sea tribe, plant tribe. Big honking golem style monsters. A plant smasher. That's what I'm talking about. A sea giant. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. These are some great figures. Uh, totally worth $25 each, in my opinion. Check out my Eldrador playlist. For all the other collections, I think I'm still caught up currently, except the little ones. The little ones. The U.S. didn't get the little ones. I don't think anyone in North America got the little ones, the minis. People in Europe know what I'm talking about. But hopefully, they eventually come through. This is actually the 10th video for me. Round 10 in my Eldrador Creatures collection. I love them. I love them. Especially these ones. I kind of like, if I'm being perfectly honest, I like the giants, the golems, the monsters more than the dragons. But overall, I think I've liked everything they made. Yeah, yeah, we just, we just need more. We need more, we need so much more. We need more stone, we need more plants, and we need more sea, especially. Because the ice, we definitely have the most in ice, and we have the second most in lava. Oh, don't forget your sword, my dude, come on. Woo! And I wonder if this sword, remember most of the guys that can hold a sword, they have sort of those bony swords. I wonder if he can hold this. And I also suspect since it's a little bit loose, I wonder if the super weapon can fit in his back. Because it doesn't look like it was quite designed for this loosey-goosey weapon. I don't know. I don't know. That's what's up. Okay, Toy Insanities. Bucket list. Dream Desire Toys. Obviously more schlag figures. But most especially, most especially, my dude. Look. Standoff. Triple Faction. Standoff. But most, as you know, as I've said, Plant giant or plant smasher, plant golem, and of course, Sea Boy. Get a crazy ocean based sea smasher. Wouldn't that be insane? Oh my gosh. Love him so much. Thumbs up. Goodbye.